There seems to be no end to the cruelty that some people, or just life, can inflict on others. But for police officers and first responders, they're dealing with people at the worst moments of their lives. The worst moments of their life. This is what confronts them every hour of every day. This is stressful enough for those of us who are just in the public, but we can get away from it. This lives with you 24 seven. But think about the officers that consistently respond to the violent crimes. They see the, the, the bodies, they see the blood, they have to deal with the families that have experienced a loss. That's even more gut-wrenching than responding to the initial scene. Police and first responders are both more likely to die from suicide than in the line of duty, according to the CDC. And a recent survey revealed that more than a quarter of EMS workers and paramedics had suicidal thoughts over the past year. At the Reedville Police Department, I do feel as chaplains, we have been there. Chaplains like James Therrington are there to help them work through the darkest of hours. Things like what happened at Mount Tabor High School in Winston-Salem recently. And you're juggling your emotions from going to, God forbid, a school shooting. And you have a child at that school and you get that call. You know, yes, you're a police officer. Police officer. You have been trained. You know what to do, what not to do. But when you get a call and you can only imagine the emotion Chaplains like Therrington and the others working at the Reedsville Police Department are the first level of treatment. Sometimes it's a listening here, sometimes it may be a cup of coffee, sometimes it's just stopping by a cubicle or office saying, hey, how's your day going? If you need something, give me a call. Is simply being an ear enough for these folks? Honestly, no. Most departments don't have anything more. Only three to five percent of the nation's 1,800 law enforcement agencies have full suicide prevention units. So when you think about the weight that men and women in blue carry every day, it's remarkable that they're able to have a career for as long as they can. There are moments that break the tension, like when a local business donated a bunch of bicycles. We were able to give those 50 bikes out right before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you're able to see kids not expecting bikes. So you can imagine showing up with 50 bikes. They, they, we have our highs too. But the yellow tape that separates tragedy from the rest of us as we go about our lives only serves as a way to bind our police and first responders to the worst of humanity leaving one simple truth for this chaplain. At the end of the day, we're gonna find out that we need each other. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News.